everybody, this is Sue with Salvaterra Pottery. Today I'm working on a piece that I call a soup and sandwich. It has a bowl that's attached to the plate. The soup bowl holds, oh, probably a cup and a half, half to two cups of soup. And as you can see, the plate is ample for, you can put a salad there if you want to do soup and salad. You could put, you know, a nice big sandwich on there. but. This is what we're going to make today, and I thought before we get started real quick, I would talk about um, my setup that I've got here. So like I said, I'm a production potter. Our livelihood is selling pottery. We share the videos just because we like sharing with the pottery community and anybody who loves pottery, but um, we make no hidden come off of that. It's, you know, the pots are how we make our living. But, so if you're a production potter, you're throwing, I know, a dozen or two dozen or three dozen at a time of the same piece. So before I get started, I make sure that my area is set up. So once I get throwing, I don't have to get up again. I've got everything I need right next to me, which includes all my bats that are sitting stacked up here ready to go. My bucket has all my tools in it. I have a table beside me here where I keep have all my balls already weighed out. And for the soup and sandwich, have all the bowl setting over here that are going to get attached so everything is right here in my space and I'm ready to just start throwing pots so that's just a tip for you because you don't want to keep getting up and down and up and down like to set up I'm usually like you know running around setting up but the five or ten minutes that it takes me to set up saves me a ton of time during the rest of my production process so um, that's a tip for you so these little bowls I threw yesterday, and they're not leather hard, but they are, um, I can touch them without distorting them. So they're a little softer than what I would consider leather hard. So all these bowls are thrown, and they're ready to get attached to the plates that I'm going to throw now. And I've already done other videos on throwing bowls, so um, I'm going to assume that you've seen those, or go back and look at our bowl, bowl throwing section if uh, you have not. And let's go. So I got my bat here. We are cleaning off the bat. My plate is one and one half pounds of clay. And here we go. Slam it down onto our bat. And let's start. So we're starting with centering, of course. And everybody centers a little differently. This is how I center. Usually pull the clay up and down once or twice, depending on how well I did getting the ball stuck to the wheel in the first place. Okay, so I'm going to flatten my piece out. So since this is a plate, this is going to go all the way to the edge of my square bat. And I talked about my square bat system a couple of other times, so you might want to take a look at earlier videos when I talked about my bat system. But briefly, my bat system, I have three different size master bats, and it helps me to maintain the same width bottoms on every piece. Because I have this is my medium bat size, and so this plate gets pushed out to the edge of this medium square bat. Alright, so there's my plate, the beginning of my plate. I like taking this tool, cleaning up the edge, and now I'm gonna pull. So I Pots start from a cylinder, and mugs would be a taller cylinder, and plates are a flat, short little cylinder. So this is a flat, short little cylinder. To me, flatter, shorter things are easier to throw, um, and plates or anything that's flat, that's like a flatter, are uh, come at great ease to me, and I actually love throwing plates. So that only even took two pulls. I, I usually use three pulls, but it's so flat, you don't even need a third pull. All right, I'm gonna clean up my edge a little bit. Clean up the bottom, put on the squirrel. There we go. I'm going to put that little edge on the bottom here that marks where the glaze is to stop. And I'm just gonna press down slowly for my plate. So I've said before, um, as this dries, this plate that I just, this rim I just laid down is going to come up a little bit, and I'm okay with that. I just uh, count for it, 
during the clearing process. So there's the plate. It's it's thrown, and I don't I don't trim this plate. It's the bo the bottom is what the bottom's going to be. Take my bowl that I threw yesterday, and I'm going to put it clear on the edge of this plate, and I'm going to spin this around just a little bit so maybe you can see it a little bit better. I stick the edges. I pull the edges of the plate up and stick it to the sides of the bowl. No, I did not score. I did not score anything. I did not add any slip. I've got enough slip on this plate already from throwing it, so it is going to be fine with just sticking there. I like to push down the side a little bit to level out the bowl, and it is done. All right, let me pull this off this bat system. And you can see how I throw clear to the edge of that bat, and that's what helped me um, keep all the plates from plate to plate to plate that I throw all the, I won't say exactly the same width, but very close to the same width. And I'm gonna cut this plate off, and it loves to slide on me. So, so I'm gonna talk about shrinkage or um, cracking again and drying, as I did on the last video that was on soup and crackers. So because I have two rims here, and this rim has already started drying a little bit, I want to protect these rims so my base gets dried and um, my base doesn't doesn't crack because my rims have dried ahead of it. So uh, tomorrow I'll probably start covering up just the rims of this pot and let the base start catching up with it. So that is our soup and sandwich. It ends up like this. There they are. And if you enjoyed this video, I would ask you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel or uh, follow us on Instagram. Take a look at our website, salvaterrapottery.com. We have a lot of good information on there and the majority of the pottery that we sell was photographed on there and we have a cart if you wanna check out. So appreciate you checking in, seeing what we're making today. Hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you next time. Bye.